I would like to discuss with you this evening the accuracy of our current proposed budget. After a review of the 2011 budget and figures, I would like to discuss with you some discrepancies. The first is legal expenses. Under general government, the city administration budgeted a total of $223,979 for our Bureau of Law. What I have been unable to find is they meet their target using only $222,452.62. However, in addition to just under a quarter of a million dollars for our legal staff, we paid out the general fund a total of $293,492.84 to outside law firms. I know some of this expense was covered in individual department budgets, but not nearly that much. Did City Council approve these excess outside legal expenses? I do not know of any vote taken for this. In the proposed 2013 budget, I see 246,848 budgeted for our Bureau of Law, which includes 15,000 for contract services. On top of this, I have found 102,500 budgeted in various departments for legal fees. First, I have to ask, with two lawyers on staff, why are these figures so high? Second, once the allotted for amount is used up, will this council require this administration to seek approval for additional spending? Another item I noted a discrepancy with is the cost of our annual audit. It has been averaging in the 85 to 90,000 range for the past few years based on payments. Why are we still budgeting only 75,000? Then there is an ever sticky subject of fuel. <laughs> we have budgeted approximately 360,000 for 2013, spread amongst the various departments from what I can see. We spent $380,406.57 in 2011. I don't have the 2012 numbers yet. Is this budget number just optimistic or will the city realize savings by the elimination of pilferage? <laughs> I called on this council some time ago to require the competitive bidding of fuel in an attempt to save money. It was interesting to see that the accounting firm that we paid $90,000 to to perform the city's certified 2011 audit cited this as an action item. Is this council going to require competitive bids? Then there is our debt service. In 2011, we budgeted $5,833,926 and spent $8,294,262.48 for a shortfall of $2,460,336.48. The 2013 schedule of bonds payables carries $7,601,375.85. For which we have budgeted seven million two hundred and thirteen thousand six hundred and sixty-five, leaving a shortfall of three thousand three hundred and eighty-seven thousand seven hundred and ten dollars and eighty-five cents in this year's numbers. The numbers are there to see. I have to ask aloud with all these discrepancies, and I've only scratched the surface, who exactly is preparing this budget? So here we are with a proposed 31% tax increase. Administration is blaming everyone and everything, including the tax collector's fault, who pick up our trash, save our lives, and police our increasingly violent streets. Layoffs are not being threatened, they are being promised. Yet in a show of sheer madness, we keep the $20,000 League of Cities memberships, $10,000 travel to conventions, and of course the thousands spent on performers for parade events is non-negotiable. The gall to make a statement like that to old folks who get a fixed dollar amount every month shows how out of touch with reality some people are. In closing, I am challenging this council to reject the budget presented and come up with a real budget. 
I worked my butt off to get my MBA, and I am offering to volunteer my time to help make this happen. I have no doubt there are others who would step up as well. End this madness today. Thank you. Matt Karen, the chair of the mayor.